Hi, welcome to Access TV. We're at the Gadget Show Live in Birmingham. I'm here with Ben from NVIDIA. Ben, how are you? I'm not bad, Palm. How are you? Good, thank you. Enjoying the show? I am very much so. It's getting bigger and bigger each year, and it looks pretty special right now. Okay, NVIDIA's second year here, so obviously you believe the Gadget Show is going forward, going to be strong for you. It's consumer electronics based. What do you think is NVIDIA's purpose in being here? So for consumer electronics, the big buzzword amongst everyone's lips is 3D. Yep. Let's be honest, at CES, all the big manufacturers announced 3D. Around the show today, you're seeing 3D absolutely everywhere. I think what's key about NVIDIA 3D Vision is that it's available right now to purchase to get into your home. And we also have some very nice new tech coming like 3D Vision Surround. Okay, so NVIDIA's been pushing 3D for quite a while now, probably sooner than most other manufacturers. Um, in the next few months or a few weeks, you're going to be introducing a successor called 3D Vision Surround. You've got a tech demonstration here. Talk us through it. So 3D Vision Surround is actually using three separate 3D Vision screens to create a completely immersive experience in the games you're playing. So that can be anything from, say, three 1080, uh, 1080p screen monitors put together to an absolutely massive wall of three uh, 3D projectors with a completely seamless, like, huge widescreen wall just for your gaming. Okay, your competitors, we won't mention any names, but one of your competitors might point out that their graphics cards power six displays. Yes. But in theory, this actually is six displays because you're powering left and right images. Exactly, you're actually rendering both the left and the right images. So in that respect, the graphics card doing exactly the same amount of work as if it would be powering six displays. And we have to remember the amount of pixels you're throwing around here. This is ultra high res. You do need an ultra high end setup. There's no point in having a low end card no matter how many display outputs you have on there, if it can't run anything apart from your Windows desktop. Okay, talking about the power required, we recently tested a competitor product that does something similar, mm -hmm. and we found their high-end GPU to be a little bit lacking when playing games with full detail at super high resolutions. What's going to be the minimum requirement for NVIDIA 3D Vision Surround? So we do recommend the minimum of SLI, and that's either on GT200 series, which is your GTX 285, 275s, etc., yeah. or our brand new GeForce 400 series as well. Um, but you do need SLI. That gives you the right number of outputs. For us, it gives you the correct amount of power required to really move around the amount of polygons you're pushing at this kind of resolution. And it's a lot, like, like you quite, quite rightly say, it's a lot of pixels. So you need that power there to run your games at native res with all the details turned on. But let's be honest, anyone that's going to be wanting to buy free screens in their home wants to run everything completely set to maximum. Yeah, okay, we'd agree with that. It's an enthusiast product. It's probably going to be pricey, especially if you're going to need SLI graphics cards. Are we going to see bundles in the marketplace where people can pick up a package of three divisions around with two graphics cards and maybe three monitors as well? Well, I can't announce anything right now. But I'm sure you will see various e-tailers and retailers offering bundle deals where you can get multiple monitors or cards included in that as well, in addition to 3D glasses, obviously, as well. Brilliant. Okay. One closing point. When we tested iFinity, the rival alternative, we found the number of supporting games to be limited somewhat. There were only a dozen or so that were recommended with a few others supporting it but with flaws. How many titles can we expect to support 3D Vision Surround? So I don't have a final number for you today. Okay. What I will say is that if you look at 3D Vision as an ecosystem as a whole, we support over 450 titles in 3D Vision today. We launched with a support of over 350. We'd be adding more every single time. Um, I think you will see significant support for 3D Vision Surround. All you have to do is look at NVIDIA's Way It's Meant To Be Played program. We work very closely with nearly every single developer around the world to ensure that, that their game is working on that technology. And I think anyone buying a 3D Vision Surround system won't be disappointed in that regard. Okay, thanks Ben. Stay tuned to Hexus TV for more from the Gadget Show Live in Birmingham.